What's going on everybody? My name is Levi Peters and this is Levi Explains on MI Gardener. Today we're talking about hybrids versus heirlooms. This was actually brought to my attention by someone in the comment section named Haley who brought it up. And Haley, I thank you for this idea. It's a great uh, topic and I encourage everyone else, if you have any ideas that you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comment section down below. All right, so without further ado, let's get into it. So let's actually just start off with what exactly is a hybrid. A hybrid is the offspring of a plant whose parents were different varieties of the same species. So this happens in nature, but usually, especially when it comes to vegetables and fruits, it's done by plant breeders and they'll cross pollinate two varieties of the same plants, so let's say two varieties of tomatoes, all right? And they cross pollinate them in hopes that the offspring will have the good traits and characteristics of each of those varieties. Make sense? So this can actually take quite a while because you might come across an instance where it's like, oh, you know, you got the offspring and it's like, oh, well, okay, good. You got the good uh, traits from mama, but from daddy, uh, no, not too good. So it can take a while. And when the plant breeders are happy with it, that's their hybrid. And usually they'll put their name in it because it took so long for them to get it. That's theirs, kind of. An heirloom vegetable, on the other hand, is a variety of certain plants that have certain characteristics like a hybrid, right? They have certain characteristics, but they're generally old. They've been around for a while. And there's a debate how long it has to be until it's an heirloom. Some people say 100 years, some people say like before 1951, some say the end of World War II, but basically around that area, I generally say safely before World War II, that variety, as it keeps going on, it's an heirloom. Heirlooms have been handed down from generation after generation, and they're chosen for specific traits like hybrids and such. But another difference is they're open pollinated, which means they're not pollinated by hands of humans. It's natural, so from insects or wind, any natural element, it's how it's done. It's not used by human intervention. And they're generally more consistent in their flavor and how they come out. So if you taste an heirloom tomato of a certain variety, a certain heirloom, it probably tasted just like that a hundred years ago. So you know what you're getting. Another difference is that hybrid plants tend to have a more uniform crop and heirlooms, it can vary more in size and in amount that the plant produces. So it's a little more varied than the hybrid. They're both really cool though. I technically do prefer heirlooms because it's more traditional, you know, and it's like, oh, and it's done by naturally by wind or insects. And it's like, oh, this has been in my family for generations and generations. It's kind of cool, you know, but it doesn't mean that hybrids, of course, are unnatural because they are natural because it can happen technically in nature but usually just plant breeders do them themselves. And this is very different from GMOs because after all, GMO stands for genetically modified organism. So that's when actual scientists and people go and change the genetic structure of the plant. They change the traits genetically and that cannot happen in nature. Therefore, you could say it's unnatural. So don't worry, when you see an heirloom, most likely not genetically modified, way too old generally, and when it comes to hybrids, don't worry, it's probably not a GMO. They're two very different things, so you don't have to worry about that. And if you're outside the US and you're in a country where GMOs are illegal, then you're good to go already, lucky you. So yeah, there you go, hybrids versus heirlooms. And now you know the difference between them and that it doesn't have to necessarily include GMOs because that's unnatural, well, cross-pollination is natural in hybrids. So. No worries there. All right, and oh yeah, thank you Haley for that comment. I really appreciate it. This was a fun one to do. I got more interested in the topic. So thank you for that. And if you guys have any more ideas, comment down below and let me know. All right, I'll see you guys very soon. Peace. They had Blink-182 on in the background and Linkin Park. Oh, rest in peace, Chester. Oh.